Hi and welcome to the Autofill 2 installation and setup video. In this video we'll cover two different ways to install the plugin. The first is our recommended one, just Google AEScripts Manager app and you'll come to this download. Once you've installed that and logged in, one very important thing we need to do is if you have Autofill 1 previously installed, we need to uninstall that first. And the reason is, is that After Effects considers Autofill and Autofill 2 to be the same plugin. And the reason for this is backwards compatibility. You can actually render your Autofill projects with Autofill 2 and with faster performance. And for that reason, if you have both of them installed at the same time, After Effects is going to complain that it has two copies of the same plugin installed and it's randomly going to load one of them, but you don't know which one it is. So make sure you don't have Autofill 1 installed. Then we come down to Autofill 2. We can go install and we'll get this note here. Autofill 2 comes bundled with 30 internal presets and 50 After Effects project file presets, which need to be saved locally. So we can choose where we want to save the preset files. I'm going to save them to the desktop because I'm messy. And then you can click on that and open them. Jesus. And here we have the presets when we want to use them. Back to the manager app and the plugin's been installed. Now that that's done, we can restart After Effects. The internal presets are under the style builder and you don't need to worry about these as they're bundled internally inside the plugin itself. For manual installation, come to my downloads and licenses and click download. And your download should look something like this. Let's double click the documentation and help. Let's go to setup, installation and licensing, installing, manual installation, and let's copy the Mac media core if you're on Mac. I prefer installing to the media core location because it's a common directory where all versions of After Effects will recognize. So you don't have to install it once for each version. Back in Finder, let's create a new tab and let's go go, go to folder and paste that in there. And we'll just come to the plugin, copy the autofill.plugin if you're on Mac, .aex if you're on Windows, and there we go. So restart After Effects. We also have the presets. And again, copy those to a location that's handy for you. For manual installation, you'll have to register it yourself. So come into the plugin and click register and then enter your serial key. If you have any issues with the manual installation, we recommend using the AEScripts Manager app as that automates the process and makes things a lot less error prone. And with that, I hope you enjoy using Autofill version 2.